Hey, this is Anthony Cesari with SuccessForYourSongs.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the easiest way to write a bridge for your song. Because a lot of times you write a verse and a chorus and then you sort of get stuck with where do I go now for writing this bridge. So there are basically three different kinds of key changes that you can use in songwriting and one of them lends itself really well to writing bridges. So we're going to look at that here. In this type of key change you're going to be jumping from the key in one mode to a different mode that has the same chords as your original mode. So we're going to be looking at some examples throughout this lesson. In this first example we'll have chords that are C, F, G, and G, which are in C Ionian. If we then switch to the D Dorian chords of D minor and E minor, we'd have made use of relative modulation because those chords appear in both C Ionian and D Dorian keys. Now I'm showing two charts here on the screen. One shows the Ionian chords in the key of C, the other shows the Dorian chords in the key of D. And if you look at them, you'll see that those chords are exactly the same, they're just in a different order. In C Ionian, the D minor is the two chord, while in D Dorian, the D minor is the one chord. Now you'll notice a couple things highlighted on these charts as well, and I put a little key here to outline what that means. The chords that are shown in orange are the characteristic chords of that mode. So in the Dorian chord, you can see that the two minor and the four chords are in orange because those are the characteristic chords in the Dorian mode. So basically, if you're using the Dorian mode, you want to try and use some of those characteristic chords so that you get the flavor of the Dorian mode. If you don't use the characteristic chords, or at least one of them, you could be using chords that are also shared by other keys, so then it won't necessarily feel like a Dorian key. And that's something that I get into a little more detail in other lessons, but I think that's the important thing for you to know about it here. So I did highlight those in orange so that you can see in these examples, I am trying to hit those characteristic chords so that you're getting the feel of the, uh, of the mode that uses those chords. And you also note that there are no characteristic chords in Ionian, and that's because it doesn't have characteristic chords in the sense that it's the main key that the other modes are based off of. And the other thing that's highlighted here, which is the chords in the blue boxes, those are the chords that I'm using in the examples here. So that just makes those stand out a little bit for you. So in this first example, we have chords that are C, F, G, and G, which are C Ionian. And you can see that in our chart, and it's also here. And then the example switches to D Dorian in the middle. So it switches to the chords D minor, E minor, D minor, E minor. And you'll note that the E minor chord is characteristic chord of the Dorian mode, according to the charts. So as this example plays, you'll be able to see the chords that are being played, not only down here in the music, but if you don't read music or don't read music well, the chords are also listed up here at the top. So you can see what chords are being played as they're being played. And then I also have outlined here the original chord progression, which is our C major, major Ionian chord progression, and it shows the C, F, G, G progression. And then I've outlined when it changes to this relative modulation, and now we're going to D Dorian, and that just has D minor and E minor repeated. So you'll be able to see all this stuff as it's happening while you're listening to it. So let's take a listen to that. And as I mentioned, those Dorian chords of D minor and E minor in that second progression are also in our key of C Ionian, the original key. And that's what makes this a relative modulation. Also, an important part of this kind of modulation is to firmly establish your tonic, which is why starting your chord progression with the root chord of that new key usually works well, as we did in this example. Uh, and two, by making use of the characteristic Dorian chord of E minor during that progression. Using relative modulation in this way can be a good approach to use in the bridge of a song. Typically in a bridge you're looking for a slightly different sound to change things up. A pretty common thing to do in bridges is to go from a major key 
to its relative minor. So you'll go from Ionian throughout the rest of the song and then Aeolian, which is the relative minor in the bridge. So since that's such a common approach in songwriting, uh, using a major key and then its relative minor, I also want to look at an example of that. Hear that change there, which again is a very common approach for writing bridges. So it's an important one to keep in mind. Another way to think of relative modulation would be if you started your chord progression in the key of C major or Ionian, and then you switch to any other key that doesn't have sharps or flats, like D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, or A Aeolian, like we did here. This type of modulation is fairly subtle because the chords in both keys are the same. So the key signature of the song doesn't change. And that subtlety is why it can work well as a bridge or another section of your song when you're not looking to make things sound drastically different from your original progression, but you are looking for some contrast as we heard here in these two examples. All right, so I hope that information helps. If you're looking for ways to improve your songwriting, you can download our free cheat sheet. So just click right on the screen for that. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, in order to get updated on all of our latest songwriting videos, you can tap this button on the screen here, and I'll also have links for that stuff below this video. So thanks again for checking this out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.